So number one, marry a man who has discovered his God-ordained purpose. Marry a man who has discovered his God-ordained purpose. In other words, a man that has a vision for his life. He knows where he's going to. He's not living by guessworks. Are we together here? That's the first quality you must look for. Number two, marry a man who loves to stay and dwell in God's presence. But a spiritual man judges all things. The word judge there is discern, understand, know. That's who a man is. That's the kind of man you should look for. A man that has insight from God into any matter. You will notice that such a man is never confused. You will notice that such a man is never afraid. You know why? He has uncommon insight by the Spirit of God into issues. You come around him and you are facing a particular problem and after laughing, he just gives a counsel. And all of a sudden, your eyes can open and say, Kai, this is it all. That's the kind of man you should marry. And you don't tell me that those men are scarce. You have not been looking for very well. You have been looking for macho men. Huh? With beers and with car. And I don't have a problem with that. But all of that without the spirit. Number five, marry a man who knows and keeps the word of God. Marry a man who knows and keeps the word of God. Amen. And finally, number six. Marry a man that is ready and willing to cultivate you. I will explain. Marry a man that is ready and willing to cultivate you. I will explain. In other words, what I mean is a man that will bring the best out of you. A man that will increase and improve your value. Every minute spent with him is an addition to your life. You look forward to seeing him, not because you are in love with him alone, no. But because every time you are around him, there is something from him that increases your value. And the first step to value increment in life is knowledge. Are we together? It's knowledge. The Bible says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times. God kept Adam in that garden to cultivate the garden. And you ask yourself, there were no implements as at that time. Yet God kept Adam to cultivate that place. What is God saying? There was no hole, no cutlass, no tractor by that time. But God gave man the assignment to keep that garden. You know why? Because it's not just talking about physical garden alone. The garden too can be the woman, can be the family. To tend and to keep it. A man that is wise and vast in almost every field. Who is ready to give you counsel. Who is ready to supply you with knowledge and wisdom. That will improve. You know, and you don't blame the women for this. Because women are more emotional creatures. Yes or no? Yes. They feel more. It's the men that think more. The men are the more rational ones. That's why in a service like this, where the move of God breaks out, you find more women responding to the move of God. You know why? They don't think. They don't try to calculate. They just release and believe. But it is the man that has rational thinking. It is the man that has foresight. So let him be a man that will come and cultivate you into becoming the woman that God created you to be. Can I tell you something? No man, listen to me. You will never get married to the woman you want. If you do, you are in, you are in trouble already. You will never get married to the woman that has everything you are looking for. No. You know why? Because you are a cultivator. It is you that will make that woman who you want her to be. She doesn't know the word of God. You start by teaching her. 
And you must teach with patience. Oh. Don't shout. Don't scream like apostle. That's how apostle used to teach in church. Eh, 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 eh. You better know how to use bedroom voice. Amen. Ladies, put a hand, put your hands together for Jesus. A cultivator. A woman is like a clean slate. You write everything that you want to see there. She doesn't know how to do makeup. Don't yab her too much. Even if you must yab, do it in such a way that you will both laugh. Don't insult her. There must be people around that can teach her how to do makeup. Okay, women are not always like they are not always happy for their fellow women to teach them. It's very simple. Enroll her in where they teach where they do it. Or take her there, let her see. She will learn by observation. Don't be so. Uh -huh. She is gaining weight too much. Teach her how to keep fit. I don't have time. Amen. So men, you must cultivate that woman to become the woman that God created her to be. You must be a man that will increase and improve her value. And it doesn't cost much. As long as you are growing every day, that woman must grow. As long as you are growing, not just physically, but mentally and spiritually, is the same thing you are going to pour into her. Amen.